Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to get cipher decoders, the fastest method right now. I don't care what you say. I don't care if you say nightfalls is the best way, moon patrols are the best way, going to your grandmama's house is the best way. No, I've tried it all. And this one stupid spaghetti code method somehow gives us more cipher decoders than anything else. Now, if you don't care to do this, I don't blame you. At the end of the day, what's the point, right? I mean, come on, get a new auto rifle, who cares? No, I think the main reason why we wanna get cipher decoders coders is so that we can get this weird legendary thing called ascendant lens it's being speculated i know it's been data mine but i haven't even looked but it's been speculated that at some point this ascendant lens will lead us into some new hidden quest now in order to even get this thing you got to actually open 45 cypher chests considering bungie's not exactly stating whether or not when they're going to be buffing the drop rates of cypher decoders methods like these might be your best bet and when I say your best bet, I got 10 in 20 minutes. 10 in 20 minutes. So let's talk about what you're gonna need to do. First up, you need the checkpoint to the boss room, Inspire of Stars. Now you can manually get your way to this point or you can do like I did and just got the checkpoint from a friend. Now, getting the checkpoint from a friend in Spire is not the same as other rates. For some reason, the transfer of power here, of checkpoint power, doesn't quite work the exact way. Instead, in order for me to actually get the checkpoint, I actually have to be the one to change characters mid-orbit going into the raid while in a fire team with a member who already has the checkpoint. That's how you transfer checkpoint power. Don't ask me me why it's working again none of this should be working i mean none of this none of this we're getting decoders for this man but upon doing so you'll now have the checkpoint and you might want to transfer a checkpoint to one of your other characters just in case y'all mess up now that you got the checkpoint and stuff out of the way let's talk about what you're gonna do first up you can do this with a full fire team of six or you can just do it with a friend it doesn't even matter but you're gonna need at least one friend in order to take advantage of this and it's very simple whoever it is that is team lead as you are loading into the raid the moment moment your screen goes black and you see the text pop up indicating that you're about to load into the raid at any moment, you want to go ahead and click change character. Now, the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to kick you to the character menu. The second thing that's going to happen, your fire team will load in, but for some reason, they'll immediately get loot drops like it's an activity completed, giving you things like chocolate coins, a couple of blues, maybe even some umbral ingrams, as well as cypher decoders. What's so odd about this was the frequency in which cypher decoders were dropped from this now unfortunately whoever the team leader is that has to change character you don't get anything you're taking one for the team but again like i said 10 cypher decoders in 20 minutes dude just take turns you and a friend you and a group of friends whoever just take turns and essentially you just rinse and repeat here go back to orbit have your teammates join back up on you load back into the raid change characters the moment the screen goes black before you load in everyone gets more loot no lie this is like better than any forge farm we ever had this is faster now i understand for consoles it's probably going to be a a little slower due to load times unless you're running on an ssd so find you a friend with an ssd overall this has been the best method out of all the methods i've seen when it comes to farming for cypher decoders what i'm really hoping is tomorrow in the twab bungie's gonna be like hey listen starting next week or whenever we're gonna have a patch go live that will buff the drop rates for cyphers they even said in themselves that they should be dropping with more frequency however considering the times that we are in it's a possibility bungie might be like hey yo yeah we're not gonna be able to fix cypher decoder drops and until the last week and maybe not even then so this method right here might be your best method now if you are looking for somebody to do this with down below in the description will be a link to our discord we got folks actively doing it start up a fire team get it going again though take precautions when doing this and make sure you have the checkpoint and an easy way to make sure you have the checkpoint is when you actually go to the spire of stars raid menu you'll have an icon there giving you the option to refresh or reset that rate indicating that you did get the checkpoint and again to try transfer checkpoint as you are loading in with someone who has the checkpoint already you need to change characters as well when you enter that black screen again i like to wait until the text pops up before i change characters if you're on the receiving end though and you've got a team leader who's doing all the work do sit back relax collect some cypher decoders and matter of fact if you've got a full squad and somebody else gets elected fire team leader every time the original leader actually backs out and changes characters you don't have to do anything like you literally have to do nothing you just sit there you can literally 
literally leave your character on. Come back in an hour and have like 25 Cypher Decoders. Again, you cannot go any more than 25. I would suggest the moment you reach close to 20 or maybe even 25, you go ahead and take up the mantle. You be the team leader that backs out or your teammates. Do not be that fire team member that gets his Cypher Decoders and bounces on his teammates. So good luck, guys. Again, I don't know how any of this works. It hands down should not work, but that's destiny. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Thank you.